Hey there, Dan Lipkus, uh, Top Crop and Time Traveler today. I'm going to take you back about 50 years, show you um, some tricks from the past. Uh, top Crop, you know, is all about little things that uh, we do to make things a little better, or more profitable. So we're seeding some oats and alfalfa right now. And actually, that's a good alternative crop. The way the prices are, you know, alfalfa is uh, kind of through the roof. So uh, we use it on our cattle operation, but if we need to sell some, we can also. So after we ran a drill through this, uh, we used a deer no-till drill. You know, it's tilled, but we used a no-till drill with grass seed. It still isn't quite as smooth as I would like it to be. And that's because you're gonna make hay off of this thing. You know, you're gonna do three or four crops a year and for you know five six years whatever maybe longer uh you want it as smooth as it can be because you know i kind of like to go fast so i want it smooth that relates us where we're going back 50 years to what we call is a cultimulcher this is your john deere brand cultimulcher it's got the two rollers uh, i'm sure this thing was probably made in the 70s i guess uh, the rollers are independent of the teeth. You can run the teeth at whatever depth you want to. Uh, if you really want to smooth the field out, that's a good way to do it. A lot of guys have these out in the weeds or in a shed or you know somebody that has one. Um, John Deere made them, Kiwani, I think. I don't remember, Brilliant. Several different uh, people made them. But if you can pick up one of these things, you know, at a old farm sale or something, they're worth having around just for this kind of situation. Uh, we'll really be able to make this field nice and smooth with that. It also, you know, gets the lumps broke up. Uh, back in the day, these things were standard practice around here. Uh, when we mow board plowed in the spring, which I don't know why we did that, but we did. Uh, looks, looking back, it seems like it was pretty dumb, but uh, the clay spot, the clay parts of the field were extremely lumpy. You'd go out with one of these at the right time and you could uh, shatter those lumps really well. So um, good out, good thing to do, you know, to level the field. Uh, moving back up 50 years, you know, we got a track with RTK, so I'm actually RTK in with a 15 foot cauldron launcher. So that makes it nice. Y'all have a good day.